Finally, the moment you probably have been waiting for this whole time, the premiere of A Trip to Jamaica, starring Ayo Makun as Akos and Funke Akindele as Bola. Now, what makes this trip even more exciting is the fact that it was a star-studded event. And of course, Funke Akindele made a special appearance with a special someone. I'll give you details in this next report. Nigerian celebrities, actors, directors, musicians, comedians, their fans and a host of others lined the black carpet for the premiere of AY's latest movie, A Trip to Jamaica, which held in Lagos. Not only was it a night for movie buffs, fashionistas also came out in dazzling outfits, adding much glamour to the night's event. Media mogul Mo Abudu, beauty queen Omoimi Akinifesi, comedian Chi Girl, and singer Gloria Braima were among the first to step forward, eager to share their excitement and expectations from a trip to Jamaica. Um, I'm expecting to go to Jamaica this evening on screen and then you know, find my way through the travels of Jamaican life, you know. While I'm going my travels, I will not be tickling my hair because I'll be laughing along the way. And then eventually I land back in Niger. Very happy that I've been to Jamaica and back. You get it? Now I'm looking forward to laughing tonight. It's, it's, it's about laughter for me, so that's all I'm looking forward to, really. I've been saying that I need to know, bro, say why? Once again, miguo, epos, teach us what you know, so we may also carry the touch alongside you. Swap our own market. Please help us, please. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Because, I mean, like, he's really amazing. And, and I think uh, one of the things I think that, that probably sets AY apart is not just the fact that he's talented and he knows what he's doing. Um, he's also pretty humble from my stand, you know, from where I see him. You know, he's, he's a humble guy and he's, he never, he doesn't think too much of himself. And I think a lot of times that opens doors for him. And I think this is his time and he's taking advantage of every single moment that he's given. And we have Gloria Brima here at the premiere, a trip to Jamaica. Like she also wants to go to Jamaica. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> let me let me show you the ticket. We are flying to Jamaica tonight. I hope we'll be back tonight as well. I don't know. So, I, I need a second vacation. So, I know what you mean. You know. Anyway, okay. let's get to business. Great, great. Did you see 30 Days in Atlanta? I did. And I thought it was hilarious. That's the reason why I'm here today. There's no other reason. Because this guy is just He's creative, he's funny, he, he's, he's a good content provider. So I think anybody would be uh, thrilled to be here tonight. I'm here for the entertainment, I just want to laugh. How ready are you for this trip? I took a trip already because I did the soundtrack and score for the movie. I did for 30 days in Atlanta and now I'm, I just did for this one again. So I already went to Jamaica and I'm back here to go to Jamaica again. Veteran actor Richard Mufedamijo who starred in 30 Days in Atlanta, revealed he had vested interest in the movie, as he is from Warri Delta State, the same hometown as the fictional character, Akos. And it's RMD getting set for this trip to Jamaica. And of course it was in 30 Days in Atlanta. Do we see you in this one again? No, no. Why? The next one. So there's a next one already? Oh. Breaking news. It's a, there's, a, it's a there's, there's a next one. Of will continue to travel. But a trip to Jamaica, what are you expecting? Fun, I mean, entertainment. Um, I'm a worry boy, so of course he's a worry boy. I want to see him in situations. I mean, somebody asked me earlier, why does he have to travel? I mean, we all know what he will do in Abelkuta or in Ibadan or in Benin. If you drop a worry boy in Kano, we know what he will do. But if you're dropping him, him, him in Germany, you want to know what he will do with the Germans or with the Jamaicans. So besides, Wari and Jamaica and water people, so. Mm -hmm. And great night out. AY has done it again. Again? Mm. Did you see 30 Days in Atlanta? Oh yes, I did, over and over again. And, and what, what was your take on that? For me, it was, it was the beginning of a revolution. That's what I call that movie. Uh, prior to that movie, um, no other Nigerian movie had been able to make Nigerians actually really, really go out and patronize a Nigerian movie in the theaters like that prior to that. And I must give it to AY and his people. And you know the rest, the figures, Guinness Book of Record, and I cannot imagine what's gonna happen. 
with this one. So kudos to AY. AY has built a brand over the years uh, with the AY life, and you see putting, bringing that and compassing it and putting it into uh, slashes of a cinematic piece was just it, and it worked. So tell us about, about the soundtrack. I mean, what was it like working on this project, and how different was it from the first one? Yeah, for me, for me, it's 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 um, it's some experience because I mean, for my for my, my job, you have to see the movie to do the soundtrack and score. So I already watched the movie. And it was it, it is hilarious and all that. Watching Ay and Funka Kindle and all that. So and, and plus passion, you know, for me, it's like um, having fun and making money. Yeah. Film director Robert Peters, who also directed Ay's first production, Thirty Days in Atlanta, alongside his wife Deborah, were all smiles as they posed for cameras. The cast and crew, Nsake Baitam, and her on-screen partner, Dan Davis, joined the party, looking every inch the stars they are. All eyes were trained on lead acts, Ewai and Funke Akindele, as they caused quite a stir with their grand entrance. <laughs> A trip to Jamaica is not different at all. It's actually better for me than 30 days in Atlanta and um, my fans out there. I love Funke, I can really be so much. I love Jennifer. They should come out and turn to watch a trip to Jamaica. So it's actually different and good. Very quickly, tell us about the character you play in this one. Uh, she's actually a girl from the ghetto, but um, with little education and she has opportunity to go to the U.S. Um, at Atlanta with um, a boss and she's so crazy about her course. She's, she really loves them so much. But along the line, something happened which I would like love to spill, but it's actually a very good movie to watch. It was also Akindele's first public appearance with singer JJC Skills who confirmed the two are now married. We've got AY Apos and we've got Funke, Jennifer, that mix, totally awesome, what do you say? I think they're two absolutely talented individuals and um, this movie is going to be hilarious. Um, obviously, I, I, let me not be biased, but it's all, it's, it's all about Funke Akinde Bello. She's going to kill this movie. And it just <laughs> name drops the Bello part of it, did you guys notice? <laughs> The carpet session comes to a close and guests are led into the cinema hall to see the movie.